Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and Microsoft just announced the Edge browser for iOS. It's currently available in the US for preview because they're still adding features. I'll include a link in the description explaining how you can install it on your iPhone. All right, so let's go ahead and do some browsing. This is windowscentral.com. Let's go ahead and check out this article here. Five things you really need to know about Windows Mix reality. Uh, one thing that I noticed right away is that when you swipe to go back, there's this gray space there. When you use Safari, uh, when you swipe to go back, you get a little preview of the page beforehand. So just like the Edge browser on Windows 10, you have reading view. Uh, this gives you less distractions, no ads, no sidebars, just content. And you can use the address bar for search. So for example, I'm going to type Surface Laptop here and it's going to use Bing search by default. You can change that by tapping the three dots on the lower right corner, go to advanced settings, search engine, others, and you can change it to Google or Yahoo. I'm gonna go ahead and tap Google, done, and I'll do the search again. And you'll notice that Google search will open up instead of Bing. And there's also tab browsing. You could tap the tab button here at the bottom. You could also tap the plus button to go to the Microsoft Edge home screen, you'll see the top stories, and you'll also notice the built-in barcode scanner here. Uh, you could use this camera to scan or uh, aim at a barcode or a QR code. And there's also in private browsing when you don't want certain sites to show up in your browser history. And this is the feature that Microsoft hopes will get Windows 10 users to install this browser on their iPhone. It's the continue on PC button here at the bottom. You tap that, it's going to search for your PC. That's my razor blade, I'm gonna tap that. And that's gonna open up the Microsoft Edge browser. Uh, and then I can continue browsing from there instead of from my phone. So to get this working, you need a Windows 10 Fall Creators update on your PC. If you're on uh, Windows Insider, you can get that right now. Uh, it opens the link in Microsoft Edge. So even if your default browser on your PC is something else like Google Chrome, it will still force open uh, Microsoft Edge. So keep that in mind. Like I said, Microsoft is still adding features. For example, password syncing, eBooks, and iPad support will be coming later. So there's one thing that turns me off from using this browser. Uh, Apple doesn't allow users to set Edge as the default browser in your iPhone. So for example, if I click a link in an email, it will still open Safari instead of Edge. All right, so that's a quick look at Microsoft Edge on the iPhone. I'll include a link in the description to show you how to install it on your phone. For more details, head over to windowscentral.com. I'm Mark, thanks for watching.